So activity 2.1.2 mass properties analysis isn't just about drawing uh, all of the models in Autodesk Inventor, but actually it has some follow-up questions that you need to answer. So given the drawing and uh, given the materials properties of mild steel that you were able to obtain from the eye properties of Autodesk Inventor, now we need to find out what would be the cost producing this product out of this block okay so the overall height was given here as well as the width as well as the length and that's how i was able to deduce that the block okay is where it actually came from the block is the raw material so now to answer these questions First, we need to convert our density into pounds per inches. Uh, the reason for that is most of the, all of the questions are in pounds and inches. So to do the conversion, you could actually look up the conversion factors for uh, inches or CM to inches and also from grams to pounds. Or we could make it easy by going to unitconversion.org, type in the unit or type in the value with the units grams per cubic centimeter and then click on pounds per cubic inch and you'll get your answer. So I converted the density to pounds per inch cubic inch and here's my answer. Now I need to compute for the volume of the raw material given the length, the width and the height. I plug in all those numbers and I'm able to get the volume of the raw material. Now to get the mass of the raw material, all I have to do is use the formula for density, which is density is equal to mass over volume. So by transposing volume over to the other side, my uh, formula now reads mass is equal to density times volume. Density from here is 0.2835 and then the mass or the volume which I solve for is this number I get now the mass of the raw material which is 6.99 pounds compare that to the mass of the finished product the mass of the finished product is 5.121 pounds which is considerably less of course because what we did is we use a CNC mill like the one that you guys use with Mr. Shin cut off shaved off some of the parts to get something like this okay so let's go on with number one letter a what is the material cost of the part assuming that the cuttings are remelted and the cost of the mild steel is 6.25 per pound so from this block we cut this off to look like this and all the shavings or the cuttings are remelted back so nothing is actually wasted so what you need to do for that is you have to compute for the mass of the finished product times the cost per unit. The cost per unit is 6.25 and the mass of the finished product is 5.121 pounds. So by multiplying those two numbers, the cost for that product is 32.05. So the shavings or the cuttings are going to be remelted again. So the only total cost for that material is 32.05. What if we do not remelt the cuttings and then we just throw them away? So in that case, now you have to use the mass of the raw material multiplied by the cost per unit. So I forgot to write here times cost per unit. And so we are going to use the uh, mass of the raw material which is 6.99 times 6.25 the answer is 43.69 okay letter b what is the mass of the material loss in a typical machining process so machining this from that how much material was lost so to solve for that all we have to do is lost mass is equal to mass of the raw material ma minus the mass of the finished product. So 6.99 pounds minus 5.128 pounds is equal to 1.86 pounds. So again, where did I get these numbers? 6.99 pounds 
is the mass of this. And then 5.128 pounds is from this, from drawing this slotted angle block. Last one. What is the cost of the lost material based on your calculations above? So what is the cost of the cuttings or the shavings? So we have the mass of 1.86 pounds, multiply it by 6.25, and we end up with the answer 11.63. So if we are not going to recycle that, that's $11.63 being wasted. But if we recycle, so this cost is not added up to the cost of producing the material.